this is Thunder Force 2 for the Sega Genesis. And right away you can see the difference between this game and Thunder Force 3. This game holds a special place in my heart because this is the first Genesis game other than Altered Beast, which came with my Sega Genesis when I bought it. This is the first Genesis game that I ever got. As you heard in the beginning, I love the dialogue when you pick up special weapons, and I have no idea what she's saying when you pick up your shield. So if anyone knows what the hell she's saying, let me know, because I've always been curious about that. Thunder Force 2 is from Technosoft the same great company that brought us Thunder Force 3, and also the amazing Herzog Zwei, one of my favorite games of all time. And interestingly enough, this game shares a lot of the same sound effects uh, with Herzog Zwei, and you can hear those throughout. So I wonder if they had the same design team or a lot of the same designers working on these two games simultaneously. Thunder Force 2 seems like it was a lot of great ideas put together pretty quickly. It's not nearly as well put together as Thunder Force 3. It's just a much rougher game than Thunder Force 3. You notice the background designs are not nearly as rich and detailed as they are in Thunder Force 3, or even Thunder Force 4, Lightning Force. Everything seems much more two-dimensional. But it's a very unique game for the Genesis. And it's a unique game in general, and a lot of fun to play because of the combination of that overhead shooting mode and the horizontal shooting mode. And this game does have the Hunter weapon, which is one of my favorite weapons from Thunder Force 3. In conclusion, it's obviously an earlier Genesis game. They got much more advanced in the years after this. If you like Thunder Force 3 and Gradius and Raiden and those kind of games, you'll love this. Although I personally prefer Thunder Force 3, this game is probably, in some respects, more challenging. Especially if you want to actually just get through the whole game and win it, and also uh, go for points. It has a lot of enemies to shoot on the vertical overhead shooting levels that you have to go out and find and or you can just run through the levels really fast and on the horizontal levels especially later in the game they get very very difficult If you're a fan of the Genesis and of shooting games, this is one that you definitely have to pick up. And you can check out the Classic Game Room HD review of Thunder Force 3 to see the comparison between these two games.